All right, good, good. Keep it up. Keep up the good work. All right. Anybody else having any fun doing any, getting outside, doing some stuff? Not that you want to share. All right. Well, here's the deal, guys. We have um, a couple of updates that I want to make sure that everybody's aware of. And then um, I'm going to turn it over to a guy that kind of, I'll be honest, gave me a great foundation uh, through my years at St. X and he continues to do so year after year for our guys um, and Coach Glazer. Um, can't say enough about him and I promise you after tonight you will probably think that uh, think a lot of the th same things I think of about this guy. So um, with that being said, let's get into a couple of updates. Uh, just want to make sure that everybody understands that the math placement letters went out last week. Um, I know Miss Sample did mention that those actually did get mailed out. So be looking for those if you haven't gotten them. Um, and that is the test that you took um, remotely, I guess a few weeks ago. Time's kind of getting away from me, but uh, a few weeks ago. So we'll finalize those. Um, just also another, another very important thing that you all want to be doing um, coming the 1st of July, there are going to be weekly emails um, from the administration. So from Miss Sample um, and anything else that is going on. And that's going to be kind of a weekly newsletter that we do, uh, which will be fantastic um, to continue the, the um, communication that we need to get out to you all. Um, and then also got some information today that uh, there would not be a um, big summer mailing that we always do that will all be digital this year. So that is awesome and such a, you all will enjoy that. Trust me, instead of having all the paperwork, you will have all that digitally to be able to keep um, on file. And that'll be going both to your parent emails and to your school emails. Uh, so make sure you're checking those and staying up to date. Um, also might want to make sure that if, um, mom, dad, and uncle, whoever um, is responsible, that uh, their emails are up to date with us and that they're receiving everything that we've been sending out. So just a couple of things there. Um, and then also, if you're planning on playing a fall sport, um, go ahead and make sure we're getting those physicals turned in. Uh, you can contact Miss Ray in the athletic office um, to get those turned in. <clears throat> So before I turn it over, are there any questions on any of those just little housekeeping things tonight? Any questions at all? And keep in mind, we can always use that chat feature um, to make sure that we've got, got that going throughout the time as well. We good? All right. So um, like I said, Coach Glazer is here with us tonight. He actually is someone that comes and speaks at study skills every year. Um, so you'll be getting a little piece of what he talks about. But he's got a lot of history at St. X. He went to St. X, and I'm not going to steal his thunder. So I'm going to let him take it away here. Coach, you there? You ready? I'm there. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. All right. Thanks a lot, uh, Kurt. I appreciate it. Guys, it's an honor to be with you. Uh, like he said, I usually talk at study skills, and I may have a bunch of you in class. I have uh, three freshman English classes, level five, and I will have a, a PE class this year, so I'm looking forward to that. So uh, I hope to get to know a lot of you. One of my goals each year is to get to know as many of the freshmen as I can. Uh, I'm gonna, you know, I, I guess I touch on a lot of things tonight. At any time, if you want to you want to ask me a question at the end, if you have any questions, uh, I'd be I'd love to you know uh, dialogue with you. But bottom line is, I've been around St. X since my far. I just finished my 45th year. I've coached almost every sport. I was a head football coach for 31 years. Uh, it's been an awful lot of fun. I'm gonna tell you why I'm still there, and uh, I guess why I've been there the whole time is, uh, and I think it's gonna tell you why I think St. X is special and what it means to be a St. X man. Uh, 
I was a sophomore at St. X and my father died suddenly right after my sophomore year. I was 15 years old. Uh, and that was just a shock to me. And I'm going to tell you what, if it hadn't been for St. X, first of all, I wouldn't have been able to afford to go there. They allowed me to stay there back when there wasn't a lot of tuition assistance, but they allowed me to stay there and do work study. Uh, and I've been there ever since. But I would have to say St. X and the people there helped shape me and the man I am today, helped keep me out of trouble. And they stepped in to my life at a time when I really needed somebody. And I think that's the biggest thing. The first thing that I want you to know on this journey that's going to be St. X, and I want you to know this, the joy's in the journey. You got to enjoy every day. But the one thing that I think you're going to be able to count on, and not a lot of things you can definitely count on in life. But the one thing I think you got to, you can count on is St. X will be there for you. When my father died, they called, they said, you can stay there. Don't worry about tuition. I can remember the day of the funeral like it was yesterday. And there were so many of my brothers off the football team that were there. There were so many uh, of my teachers that came. And that long procession, made me feel like I wasn't alone. And I think that's what you got to keep in mind. There'll be tough times, not because it's just high school, but every day in life, there are tough times. How do you get through those tough times? You get through there with great people being there for you. I want you to know, first and foremost, the thing that sets St. X beyond every other school that I've ever been a part of, every organization that I've ever been a part of, is St. X is there for you. St. X every day will try to do whatever they can to help you. You're not coming to St. X to help us win championships or to help us be the best academic school. We will be if you're there. But what you're going to experience is us helping you reach your goals and being there for you. You've got people at St. X you'll be able to count on. So that's the first thing I want you to know. Uh, like they were there for me, they're going to be there for you. Second thing is, man, you got to enjoy the journey every day. I want you to, I want you to remember this term. Now, if I had you in class for study skills, I'd make you write things down, write it down, because uh, you know I'm a, I'm a note taker, and uh, you know people say you know you, you, some people have uh, things they have to work on. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm ADD. I'm all over the place all the time. So anytime I go into a meeting or anything, I write things down. I like to put my, my tag on things uh, so I can remember. Well, the one thing that I want you to know is the joy is going to be in the journey. But every day, that journey is about winning that day. So I'm going to ask you, every day you get up, you come to St. X, I'm going to ask you to win the day. I'm going to ask you to come in that building and, and be there to be a good student, to be a brother for all the guys in class, to uh, – Take in, uh, be there to help maybe somebody's having a tough day. Be there to say hi to your teachers and be friendly. That's what St. X is all about. I promise you, you go down the hall, you'll see Mr. White and myself and uh, Coach Bosch out there in the hallway, high five. Well, I don't know if we can high five you anymore, but we'll be talking to you and hopefully uh, we can get over this uh, COVID-19 and, and be able to be there for you every day and, and interact. But uh, I want you to win the day every day. And that means being the best that you can be. You know, you don't have to be an A student, but we'd like you to be the best student you can be. If C is all you're, you're capable of, that's okay. We'd like for you to do your homework every night because that's, what, that's your job right now. Uh, we'd like if you're an athlete, we'd like for you to do the best you can every day of practice. But we'd also like for you to be a team player. You know, not everybody can be the star. Uh, so we want you to be a guy that's going to come out, win the day every day, and be the same guy every day. I work for a guy named Coach Klein. One of his favorite sayings is, be an everyday guy. So that's what we mean. We want you to win the day every day by being the same person. We don't want you to have ups and downs. We want you to be positive every day. And that's what St. X is all about. When people say, uh, you know, What's a, what's a St. X guy? What's it mean to be a, a St. X man? And you'll notice this. I'm going to refer to you as, as men, young men, because right now, you know what? Uh, 
you're not you're not in grade school anymore, and you're you're starting on a journey that I think is going to be a lot of fun, and it's going to be one of the big steps to manhood, and we want you to win that day every day, and we want you to be a young man. Now, what's that mean? What's being a young man mean? Well, I'm going to give you a question, and I don't know if you you don't have to answer it. It's a I'm an English teacher. It's a rhetorical question. But what size pants do you wear? And you're thinking, oh my God, what's he talking about? Well, basically, I ask that every every year in study skills. So this year I'll have to wait till the first day of class. But what size pants do you wear? And you know, almost every year guys put their hand up, coach, I don't know. And I'll get on, I said, what do you mean you don't know? Well, my mom buys my pants. So I say, that's okay, because your mom loves you. But guess what? Starting now, you're at St. X. It's time for you to know what size pants you wear. And that means win the day every day by being responsible, being accountable. You know, first day of class, I, I give my guys uh, an assignment to get your supplies for Monday. You come to school first day on a Friday. And Monday, you got to have notebooks and you got to have this or that. And, you know, some guys come in and say, well, mom didn't get me to the store. Well, that's a mistake. The bottom line is know your pant size. You now are responsible for your school supplies. Mom is still buy them. You're responsible for, for picking your pants out, trying them on. Mom will still pay for them. And every day, um, mom needs to drop you off at the door and you kiss her. Say, mom, I love you. Give her a kiss on the cheek, but come on inside. I'll be darned if I want to see any of your mamas walking in the door, carrying your books for you and helping you go to your locker because you're responsible now. And you say, Mom, hey, I appreciate it. Thanks for the ride, but I got it. And that's, there's nothing better than to be able to say to somebody, I got it. And I'll never forget my first, my first coaching job. And uh, we had a coaches meeting and we talked. And uh, the guy that was the head coach, he says, Coach, you think you're ready for tomorrow? I said, Coach, I got it. And I don't think I ever needed a whole lot of help after that because it meant so much to me to do a good job. So that's what we mean by being a St. X guy. Being a guy that's gonna be an everyday guy, a guy that's gonna, gonna do his job. What is your job? What's well, to be nice to your, to your classmates, your teammates? It's to spread positive attitude around the school every day. At St. X, we're gonna teach you. And what's it mean to be a St. X guy? To do service work. Right now with all that's happening in our society, it's to listen. If you're, if you're not a minority, if you're, if you're what we call a, a fairly privileged white person, then you need to listen and you need to see what everybody's going through because everybody's got a different situation. As a teacher, one of my jobs is to listen every day. I need to find out about you guys and all your teachers will do that. And if you're having a tough time, let's say mom and dad are going through a divorce, or let's say a, a family member is sick, your teachers will find those things out. And if they don't know, be man enough to go and talk to them about what's bothering you, what you're going through. Because we're in this thing together. This thing called St. X, this thing called growing up, this thing called education is about us helping you be the best person that you can be. And that's what St. X is all about. And a St. X man is somebody that's built for others, that's there to help other people. We used to read a book, and one of the first books we'll read this year is called Season of Life. And the theme of the book is to be a man built for others. And I think one of the things you'll learn at St. X in your journey over the four years, to be a man built for others. Be a guy that everybody that you know can count on you. Everybody that you know can depend on you to be there in tough situations. So that's what being a St. X man's all about. So the joys in the journey, enjoy every day. Get up with a positive attitude, kick that door open every day, get to school and be there to win the day in the classroom, in the lunchroom, in the hallways, on the athletic fields, okay? And then it's gonna be a great experience. Now, are there gonna to be tough days? Oh, without a doubt. There are gonna be days that you don't understand what's going on in Algebra One. There are gonna be days in my class that you don't know grammar and you're gonna say, coach, I hate grammar. I didn't learn it in grade school. I said, well, that's all right. 
you're going to learn it now. And it's okay to try things that are hard. It's okay to struggle. It's okay. I remember the first time my daughter, I have one child, all right, other than all the guys that I coach and teach. Uh, I remember the first day she fell down, I stopped my, my wife and said, hey, easy. Don't want to pick him up right away. You got to struggle to grow. You got to struggle with math. You got to struggle with school. You got to struggle. You got to lose games, right? I'll tell you what, I coach for, I've coached for 45 years, or really 50. I've coached all my life since I got out of high school. I started coaching freshman football at St. X while I went to college. And I probably learned more and became a better coach after every loss we ever had. Because you know what? You don't need coaches when you're winning. You don't need teachers when everything's easy, right? You don't need mom and dad or your family when everything's perfect. But what you, when you need everybody is when you're struggling, when everything's not going right. And that's what we're trying to teach you to be a St. X man. You be there for others. But on the same note, St. X is going to be there for you. And it makes me proud to be able to say that. It was there for me. And you can depend on that. And you, can, I'm going to tell you this. You come see me and say, you know what? Nobody here cares about me. Nobody here loves me. And I'm going to find you're going to have a guy that will care about you and love you. There are three guys on this thing, Coach Bosch, Coach uh, White, and myself, every one of us, love you and care about you. We don't, we don't love you like we don't love our own children. We love you like another human being, a St. X man, and we're going to be there for you. I think every one of your teachers are, are going to be there exactly the same way. Our administration, uh, Mrs. Sample, I'm so excited about her leadership and uh, our new president's new leadership. I think it's going to be tremendous. You're coming into St. X at a great time that, that everything's bright, and it's going to be, a, I think, a fantastic four-year journey. Now, here's the third thing, all right? Enjoy the journey. Win the day every day. But now the third thing, what's going to be your mark on St. X? Are you going to be, you know, some of you guys might play. Who's the guy who said he was, he was looking for Bigfoot? Well, you know what? I want you to find him. You better go out there, and I'm going to be disappointed if you don't find him. And if you're a, if you're a musician, I'm going to be disappointed if you don't go and find uh, the people in the campus ministry and, and play your guitar or your violin at mass. And I'm gonna be disappointed if you like cooking, you don't join the culinary club. And if you're into games and strategy, or you're a gamer, if you don't get on our gaming uh, team, or if you don't get in the gaming club, I'm gonna be disappointed. I want you to do those things. In four years, they'll put out a yearbook. What's gonna be underneath that picture? They give you a little picture right there, okay? And it's got your name, all right? It's got my glazer, that's me. What's it gonna say underneath there? I hope when I'm dead and gone, I hope people can come in and say what I was about while I was at St. X. I wanna know what's gonna be under your picture. Is it gonna be a part of athletics? Is it gonna be drama? Is it gonna be music? Is it gonna be campus ministry? Is it gonna be uh, the Riken Service Club? There are so many things that you can do there, get involved. But more importantly, not just get involved so you have a great experience, because the St. X way is doing things for others. That's what being a St. X man is all about. So you got the joys in the journey, that journey of being a St. X man. Win the day every day. And number three, what's your legacy going to be? What's going to be under your, your, your picture every day? And if we had longer time, I'd talk about, I'd talk about the movie – um, Rudy, I'd talk about uh, the one with, uh, you know, Carpe Diem. There's a lot of themes that we could talk about that I think fit into every day of St. X. I don't want to go too long, but I want you to remember those three things. Joy's in the journey, so make it a great one every day. Win the day, and what's your legacy going to be? What are you going to do at St. X to make it really uh, a great thing? Now, here's the last thing to kind of wrap it all up and get back to Mr. White, I'm going to read you a little something, and I kind of wrote this for one of our football teams years ago on a, on a scouting report, 
Uh, I was going to make a, a shirt out of it one time. I got part of it kind of copied off of the Auburn Tigers. But I got a little picture. I don't even know. It's on my phone here. I don't know if you can even see that. Uh, but you can see a picture of a tiger. Five in class. It's got a thing there. It's something that's, it says St. X is. It's got this big, ferocious tiger. St. X is a spirit. It's more than just the bricks and mortars, the facilities. It's the people. But more than that, it's a spirit. It's something that's, that's uh, it's omniscient. It's, it's, it's just there. It's a spirit. It's an attitude. It's a way of looking at life and at one another. That's what being a St. X man is all about. It's a way of living. St. X is a way of life and looking at one another. It's a way of living. Unless you've experienced it and you haven't yet, you will never know what it is. You will never understand it. Now, that's the greatest thing because some of your buddies haven't chosen St. X. And I'm going to tell you what, in a year from now, they're going to be saying, man, I wish I went to St. X. I can't tell you how many guys that have played football at other schools and they've told me after I, because I, anybody that I ever talk to, I get to know and I'll follow them if they go to another school. And they say, coach, I wish I'd come to St. X. There's just something different about it. So unless you've experienced it, you'll never know it. So you're going to experience it. So pat yourself on the back because you've just done something really good for yourself. Once you have experienced it, it, you will never be the same. You'll be a man built for others. You'll be a guy that people can count on. Nothing better in life if somebody says, man, I got you, or I knew I could count on you. That's what you want to hear. Once you've experienced it, you will never be the same. A part of you will forever be a tiger, part of something special. You will be a part of a tradition unequal. Guys, I've been there 45 years. I uh, went to school there. And I still, people ask me to this day, uh, when are you going to retire? As long as I'm healthy and I can do a good job, I want them to come fire me if I don't do a good job. But as long as I can be a part and can help you become a good St. X man and grow to manhood every day, I'm going to be there because it's a special place. And I'm glad you're a part of it. I can't wait to get to know you. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'm just fired up right now because I feel like I'm back in the classroom. Uh, I feel like school's about to start. And it, it was, I'll tell you what, I, I can't tell you how many guys told me I had a bunch of seniors over here from our basketball team just to wrap it up uh, about a week ago. And we had to stay apart and they were on my patio and we got pizza for them. And one of the biggest messages that they kept talking about is they said, Coach, you killed us not to be able to finish our last days at St. X. And I, and I asked one of them, I said, well, why? I said, why is, you know, I said, you were off school. Going to, you know, class was a lot easier. I said, coach, it wasn't about that. It was seeing our buddies every day. Coach, we missed seeing you. We missed all the teachers. St. X is, one of them said, St. X is a special place. And I'm kind of, and this was funny, and I've heard this over the years. So I'm kind of scared to go away to college because it's not going to be St. X. I'm going to tell you this, and, and I'm going to, uh, ah, heck, I, I, I'll repay your tuition if it's not a great, no, I'm just kidding. But if it's not a great experience, you come see me. But I think if you'll enjoy the journey every day, and you'll be positive, and you'll come to school every day to, to win the day, I think you're going to become a great St. X man, and you'll be ready to go. Uh, once you know I love you, looking forward to getting to know you, and uh, – we got to keep saying X a special place because here's the last thing you are. Now listen, what I'm telling you, you're the most important people at St. X. Now ask yourself why, why are you the most important? I would tell the freshman football guys when they came into football, I tell the St. X basketball freshmen when they come in I'm coaching basketball. Now you're the most important because you're the future. You've got to be our foundation. You've got to be the rock that we keep growing on. So, how much better St. X gets is going to really depend on you. So in four years, that was that third thing I gave you. What's your legacy going to be? How many championships? What was the drama program like the last four years? How about the music program? How about bass fishing? Did we catch a lot of fish? How about the service hours? Our goal should be to, in 2024, 
the senior class did more service hours than any class in the history of the school. Think about that. The most uh, state championships in 2024 in the history of the school, all right? I can think back 2009, we won state in football. We won nine state championships. I think that's the record. Well, you got to shoot for 10 your senior year, all right? Your senior year, you got to try to make it the best it's ever been. Every day, you got to try to make it the best. And you know what? They didn't build the pyramids in a day. One day at a time, one brick at a time. Uh, God bless you. I hope you stay safe the rest of the summer. Wear your mask. Don't breathe on anybody. And uh, I can't wait to see you come uh, August or whenever we're back together. Uh, Mr. White, that's all I've got. Well, Coach, that is uh, awesome. And I, that's exactly why you were here today. And um, can't thank you enough for, for coming on and, and talking to these guys and helping them to understand what a great decision they have made and um, how much the, the people at St. X are there for them. And it's so important for those guys or for these guys coming in to understand that, um, you know, you, you can't do this stuff alone. You can't do life alone. And we have to uh, be able to come in day one, ask for help when you need help. If you don't know where your next class is, you got to ask for help. If you don't know how to work a locker combination, we'll get you there. But there's so many resources and so many things that we can do, guys, to uh, to get you where you need to go. Hey, Mr. White. <clears throat> yes, sir. Mr. Bosch, I always told you when I was coaching, I know where I have to get out if I don't have goosebumps when I talk. I got goosebumps all over the place. So I'm, <laughs> I'm still alive, and we'll get we'll kick those doors down come August 15th. You got it? That's See you later. Right. That's right. Thanks, Coach. Um, and I do, too. I've got goosebumps, too, and that's what it does to me. And, and I think, um, you know, you may not even understand it while you're there, uh, but I can tell you right now, being a grad and, um, you know, it means a lot and everything that coach says is true. And um, guys, the quicker that you can kind of get in your minds um, to embrace everything that you were, you are, you will get over the next four years, the better it will be. And uh, that was a great kickoff for that. So um, take some of those things with you, um, especially as you go into the rest of your summer and you're thinking about what high school looks like for you. Um, you know, a couple of things, enjoy the journey. You know, you got to have fun every day. I can tell you right now, I have fun every single day. And, you know, it was, I have fun getting to know you all as eighth graders or seventh graders before anybody else in the entire school. Um, so it's a lot of fun for us. Uh, win the day, win the day every single day and leave your mark, leave your mark. What, what will your story be in four years? Um, think about those things, put some thought into it, reflect on that a little bit and just know that uh, we're here for you. Um, and I can't wait, you know, I can't wait to, to see you. When I took this job five years ago, I can tell you right now, I did not realize that I would become so connected uh, with you guys. And I take pride in everything that you all do. If you're struggling, I'm struggling. I can tell you, I take it very personal and, um, and I know that everyone in the building does. So uh, just know that we're here for you and that we're ready to ready to kick this thing off in, in August or probably hopefully even before. So um, thanks for that. Um, and coaches, I tell you, if, if there's anybody that you need, coaches, coaches there. So um, I did have one question on the uh, on the chat, and then um, I'll open it up to any other questions. Don't worry, um, we, we've got plenty of time. Um, but I've got a question about how do we sign up for sports that we want to play. Um, the best thing to do there is to probably contact the coach through email right now. Um, those email addresses are on the website. Um, they're actually on the class of 2024 archives to the right side there. Um, so you can go check that. Um, or feel free to just uh, shoot me an email. 
Um, let me know what sports you're interested in playing and I'll get you in contact with the right people. So uh, plenty of plenty of ways to do that. Um, anything else, guys? Uh, just to summarize uh, and follow back up, I know we had some people late to the call. Um, those math and science placement letters did go out. Um, communications will be starting weekly coming July 1, so be looking for that. Make sure that you are getting the emails that we're sending out um, and that we have the most current email addresses because that will be very, very important uh, moving through the summer. And then also just making sure that you're getting those physical forms in, getting into your uh, doctors to get those done. So good call tonight. Coach, I appreciate it again. Any questions for Coach? Any questions for me? Any questions for Coach Bosch? Now's your time, guys. Will you tell Bill Glazer I said hi? <laughs> hey, I would. I will. I I go to dinner with him every Friday night. What is your name? I'm Nicholas Dizarn. He knows me as Nick. Okay, Nick, I will tell him that I talk to you. I go to dinner with him every Friday night. I will be sure uh, to tell him. Here, you know what he's going to say? He says, God dang, Nick. I know. I know. He says, God dang, yeah, that's <laughs> it up from him. But uh, so I will definitely tell him uh, he really enjoyed his time at St. Raphael. Uh, yes. he, he enjoyed you guys, and I hope he did a – I know he, he, he was a great teacher. He was a big brother to me, and he was my dad once my dad passed away, and he was a he was a good mentor for me, and we're very close. But I'll tell him, Nick, that uh, oh. you said Yes, Nick, thank you. Nick, you might even see him around campus from time to time, I can tell you. Oh, that. let's hope. <laughs> so, anything else, guys? Well, I appreciate it. Um, you know, again, you've you've made a great decision. Embrace those these next four years. I can't wait to see you guys, um, and um, allow you to to set your own path and and um, be on that journey with you. So, um, if you need anything, as always, don't hesitate to reach out. Thanks for coming on tonight, and uh, we'll this will also be posted um, probably tomorrow. Um, for you all to go back and watch. So tell your buddies that it was uh, worth worth the uh, half hour of getting to listen to Coach Glazer. Guys, I'll tell you how old I am. I coached and taught both those guys. So <laughs> they were my farmer players. They were pretty good. I'm proud of both of them. It took a lot of coaching, though. It took a lot of coaching. Yeah, well, I'm going to say, <laughs> we'll see you later. All right. Yes. Thank you all. Have a good night, guys. Thanks.